How's it going guys? We are back in another video here and it's going to be my first edition of Cards to Avoid in NHL 23 Hut as of October 18th. Alright, so hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel here. And again, I'm not saying these cards are going to be awful for you guys, all of you. I understand some of you guys will like these cards and be like, oh, I don't like that. I don't understand, Henrik. Why? Why this card? Well, again, this is just my opinion and cards that I've played with a lot of these as well. And just, I know that these are not good cards, alright? So, let's get into it right now, alright? So, starting off with the first card that I want to talk about today is going to be a Power Up Icon card. And this is going to be none other than, unfortunately, a new Jersey Devils card. And, uh, and it is going to be Jason Arnott, alright? So, Jason Arnott's going for around 70,000 coins, at least on Xbox Series X right now. And, so, 70,000 coins. And if you look at this guy's card, it is putrid, putrid so the thing about icon cards are i guess a lot of them you want to just trade in so you can eventually treat keep trading them in for higher overalls and higher overalls to eventually get lemieux or gratsky so i understand why they have some value but if you're looking to buy jason arnott as like an actual card like to use well the only thing that you maybe you'll like from him is the fact that he's 6'5 220 the other issue is that he is so 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 slow so the, the thing is it's crazy He's even having a, 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 a synergy of acceleration or speed. He legit is 79 acceleration, 81 speed. Even his face-offs, I mean, okay, they're 85 with art and soul, but I mean, this car needs a lot of help. I mean, the only way this car can really be any sort of, like, good would have to be if you got a, a fly the zone, uh, the next tier, but even so, like, it'd still only be 83 speed or so, so not... Not great, guys. Jason R. Not, I would absolutely avoid buying at all costs, especially for 70,000 coins. I mean, there are so many better options than Jason R. Not at that, at that cost. I mean, and there's just no reason to do it, all right? Moving on to the next one here. It's going to be another Power of Icon card. It's going to be a lefty, all right? So this is going to be a lefty, and it's going to be Larry Robinson. Okay, so Larry Robinson, again, there's only one up on the market right now for 500,000 coins by now, starting price of 350. I highly doubt that it will sell for that. However, he's 6'4, 225. He's got Spark and Distributor, so those are two acceleration uh, synergies as well. So he can get his acceleration up to 83. His speed's still only 82. I understand he's 6'4, 225. I understand not every player needs to be 90 speed to be good. Again, the issue is it's just so, so bad, especially in this year's meta of how many fast, speedy wingers there are, especially with all the females uh, in the hut. That really makes it really hard to use defense where they're going to get very flat-footed and really not be able to catch up with a lot of these speedy wingers and, and players in the game. So that's the only thing about Larry Robinson I don't like. So uh, silver ability is shut down and gold is sick him up, which again, not bad, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like it's just not ideal really to have defense and be that slow for your team i feel like it's going to really bite you and i would very much so avoid it as at all costs really i would so uh, moving on to the next item here it's going to be a goaltender here and this is going to be a base icon actually hopefully i can find him on the marketplace right now uh let's see let's see he's got to be here somewhere uh it is there he is terry sawchuk okay so terry sawchuk and i have a, have a bumpy relationship so Terry and I in NHL, I think it was 19, so you got Terry Sawchuk, 95 overall, icon card for winning 500 online games. Let me tell you, Terry Sawchuk was horrendous, absolutely horrendous, one of the worst goalies I ever used, so unfortunately, Terry Sawchuk, don't use it. Do not use this card, uh, it is really going to be disappointing for you. Uh, it's just not worth the 28k or so it's going for like it's an 86 I understand that but it's just not a Good 86 you know what I mean like it's kind of misleading I would say I, I don't really like Sawchuk ever in NHL games and even his ability is not amazing whirlwind I mean cool like that's such a that's such a ability that is so worthless I feel like on goal it really does nothing I mean because in reality when's your goalie gonna make uh, Three saves within five seconds and that's just not it's not realistic so just come on it's not worth it all right moving on to the next guy now uh finally not an icon player here uh but this is going to be from the boston bruins here no it's not going to be patrice bergeron all right but it is going to be david 
uh, Pasternak, believe it or not. David Pasternak. Might be surprising for you guys to hear, but David Pasternak's base card is really bad, okay? So, David Pasternak's over around 16, 15K ish right now in the Xbox Series X marketplace. This is about 2 30 in the morning as well. Keep that in mind. But what don't I like about David Pasternak's card? Okay, so he's six foot. 194, right-handed shot, that's awesome and all. Yes, he is buzzing, that's cool as well. Endurance up to 85, speeds up to 90, cool. Shots 89, 84, 89, and 84. Again, good shot, don't get me wrong, not bad. Agility, 80, that's really bad, really, really bad. 80 agility, I mean, that just can't happen, I'm sorry. Like, that is too, too low. The balance is only 81 as well. They really, really mess up his card. Like, his card is almost unusable with 80 agility. I don't know. I feel like it really is noticeable uh, when I've used his card on my PlayStation team. It, it's not it's not acceptable. It's not good enough at all. So, no, Pasternak 100% is a card you guys have to avoid buying. I, I feel like if you pull him, you definitely sell him because you're going to be disappointed with what you get from him. Even his X-Factor card is not really amazing due to that exact reason. So, it's unfortunate for his card, but that is sadly the way I feel about it. All right, moving on to the next card here, though. This next card is going to be none other than Brad Marchand. So, uh, two Bruins on this list. No, I don't hate the Bruins, but these are cards that I just feel like are not not worth it. All right, so Marchand's never good in HUD. And then, the, really, the big reason is, I mean, he is simply 5'9", 181. So, size is, is a pretty important factor uh, in this game. It really is. So, he has Spark, which is... He has an acceleration to a plus two and balance a plus two, which again, it's nice for sure. It is nice. 88, 82, 88, 82 for a shot. But I just feel that Marshan does not provide enough at the 5'9 size, 181. It's just not, it's not enough for me. So uh, Brad Marshan, I mean, a left-handed shot, that's great and all, but I, I'm, I'm just not feeling it with Marshan. I'm really not. So uh, absolutely avoid him. Uh, at all costs. I mean, the Marchand, and there's a reason why when Marchand got a team of the year overall, one of the highest cards in NHL 22, that no one was making him, right? I mean, no one decided to make Marchand, and that was a very rare card for people to actually use on their team because it's just not, I mean, it's just not a good card. I mean, Marchand has not played well in game. He never really has. I mean, it's just how it is, unfortunately. But yeah, that's Brad Marchand. Moving on to the next guy, another guy that unfortunately just seems to always get uh, just really bad, bad luck when it comes to his cards, especially his base cards. It's going to be the center from the Florida Panthers, and he goes for a decent amount as well. Uh, it's going to be uh, 15,000 coins, so similar to Pasternak. And here's Alexander Barkov. So he's 6'3", 214 pounds. So he gets Spark. So, okay, his acceleration goes up to 88. That's nice. He's up in balance. 85 speed, though. 85 speed. They do him dirty. They do him so dirty. His face-offs are really bad as well. 81. I mean, it's just not... I don't know. I, I don't know why they just kind of do Barkov dirty always his base card. They always make him like pretty much unusable until the very, very end of the year. Like he won't be getting a high speed card for a long time. And the thing is Barkov has been slow in real life. So that's what it really, really made sense. So that that's just one thing that uh, I'll never get. But uh, Alexander Barkov, 85 overall. I mean, just don't buy him. I mean, or, or if you pull him, I'd really just go against using him. I would. So uh, unfortunately, that's the reality. But uh, Alexander Barkov, definitely avoid him. Okay. Moving on to the next item now. This next item is going to be a goaltender here as well. That's going to be from the women's international team. It's going to be 86 overall. Uh, Emirates Mash Mayor. I don't, I don't know how to say her name exactly. But she is going for about 10,000 coins here as well. And I use her quite a bit on my PlayStation 5 free-to-play team. And yes, does she make some incredible saves? Yes, she does for sure. However, the big issue I find with her is... If there's a chance in front of the net, she looks very small in that as she is. She's 5'6". Uh, it's very easy for people to just kind of like get a really quick forehand shot off on her and really just make her look like she's not even in the net essentially. So uh, really do not buy her. Uh, very much so avoid buying her. It's just not, not a good card, unfortunately. That's just the reality of it. But uh, yeah, no, she's just too small, unfortunately. It really becomes a factor when there's close shots on her. All right, moving on to the next item here. Uh, it's another icon card here as well. Uh, it's going to be a right D here. Power up icon. Let me see if I can uh, go to the collection. And here it is. Power up icon. Not Women's International. Uh, it is right here. Rob Blake. Right, so it's going for around 125k, 100k ish probably. So Rob Blake again, another one that kind of gets just really no respect every year. Always a lower overall icon. I get he's, he's six four, but uh, I mean Blake's just just way too slow. Like it, it, it's just too. The thing is, you have these guys that are just too clunky compared to the rest of the players that are just flying down the wing. It's just, it's a huge factor. 83 Excel, 84 Speed. His shot's putrid as well. Silver Shutdown, that's nice as well, but 
Uh, no goal ability yet, at least, either. So that's pretty brutal. I don't know if he's going to get a goal ability this year. Probably not either. So uh, it's a huge factor uh, as well when considering actually upgrading these guys. So, uh, yeah, Rob Blake's pretty disappointing here as well. All right. But last but not least, I have one more guy to talk about. As again, not an icon, but it's a card that I've actually used a good amount here as well so far in NHL 23. And I really have a pretty good opinion on him as well. So, here he is. It is going to be none other than primetime Jason Roberts. And I pulled him on day one of the game. So he's going for around still 13K-ish. But why don't I like Robertson? So yes, he's 6'3". Great size. Love that. 201. 83 speed, though. That is brutal. 87, 87, 88, and 86. I mean, that is just brutal. I'm sorry. Like, that is, that is just not good enough. It really isn't. So uh, Robertson, I definitely would not buy at all. Uh, puck on a string, cool, but I mean, it's just no reason to, to want this card other than that. He's a winger that has no speed. Wingers, you want to have speed, and he does not have that at all. So uh, that's something to really keep in mind when it comes to Robertson. And that is really what I got to say when it comes to the cards to avoid episode number one. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of these in the future. Definitely have some videos coming out with best cards to buy as well. If you guys did enjoy this video, though, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel here. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Henry with three E's and join Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. As always, appreciate all the love in the videos, subs, all that, likes. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.